of you, like me, spent time and or are spending time searching for value. We search for value, especially when those who were responsible to deposit value within us didn't give us the value that we should have gotten from them. Somebody in here, let me see if I can put a cord in the meter and park here for somebody. The value that your mother and father should have put in you, right? Based on their love for you and their recognition that you were a gift from God. Some of them didn't deposit within you value because they couldn't give you what they hadn't gotten themselves. You can't export what you haven't imported. So it's hard for me to give you a sense of value and worth if I don't have a sense of value and worth in terms of who I am or who I see myself to be. Somebody in here, you've gone from a string of bad relationships, one bad relationship to the next one. Why? Because you have never valued yourself enough to say no to what wasn't in your best interest or for your good. You've dated the same man. The only thing that's changed is the name. You've been with the same woman over and over again. Different size, different shape, different name, but the same woman. Because you have so been devalued that even when a blessing comes, you're waiting for it to be taken away. You live in a perpetual state of I don't deserve God's best for my life. And that's just on the natural realm. We're not even talking about the spiritual. I mean, because by the time the devil gets through attacking you and making you feel really, really tiny and small. You don't think you deserve salvation and the blessings that God has given to you. And while you don't deserve it, you should celebrate it. But let me tell you how the devil will do. The devil will get you to a place where he will literally rob you of the recognition of the greatness of God's love for you. And you'll start looking for the right thing in the wrong place. You'll start looking for approval from people. Right? You, you'll start wearing clothing, looking for attention and upset when you don't get it, looking for affirmation and upset when somebody doesn't give it to you because you want somebody to say, I value you. You matter. You got it going on. And you know when we throw that false humility in there? You know, when you went, went through three outfits, right, and, and none of them really look good, and then this one is the one that you really felt like looked good, or ladies, you changed that dress five times, and then when you come out, somebody says, wow, that sure looks nice, and you say, oh, this old thing, I just threw it on. <laughs> and here's what we miss. We miss that we have value, not based on what we wear, not based on where we live, not based on where we work. Our value is tied to God's love for us and what the Lord has deposited within us. We, like those in the world, live looking for affirmation on the outside to make us feel good on the inside instead of recognizing that that's temporary. But when we learn how to live out of our identity in Christ and what Jesus Christ has done for us, then we recognize that we can live life from the inside out. 